with Echo One Niner Audio. And I hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic video that was put together by myself and DCS World Screenshots. It has been an amazing video to create and we're so thrilled with the way that it turned out. So we're doing things a little bit different. I just wanted to put a little bit more of a personal note uh, into this video. And from here on out, we're actually gonna do things kind of similarly. And as a jet actually, it sounds like an F-16 actually, which is funny. That's flying over there right now. So, okay, there it goes. First off, thank you so, so much for your guys' continued support and feedback and giving suggestions, like all the, all the things. It's really amazing. I never really imagined that we would have the support that we do. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video and we're gonna go over the F-14 and F-16 updates, but first of all, I just wanted to cover a few housekeeping things, announcements, uh, if you will, since we're doing this a little bit differently. I thought I would add a couple extra things in there just to make you guys aware of everything that's going on with Echo 19. So we have an Instagram, that's right, Instagram. Yes, that's the thing, it's at Echo 19 Audio, that's the symbol at Echo, you know, like you know how the YouTube channel is spelled, that's how it is. Anyway, links in the description, you can check it out. Secondly, and this is very, very important, we have a Patreon and it's really important that you guys go check that out because it really will uh, determine how much content I'm able to push out to you guys in the near future. So really, really would encourage you guys to go check out our Patreon account. It's really just to continue pushing content out to you guys. We have uh, run into a, a few things and so we're really excited for what the Patreon will bring as far as opportunities for us to continue to grow and push this thing further and further. Uh, I once saw it on our Discord. Somebody said "unrestricted climb." Uh, I think his I think his name was Waldo on D Discord. So you know who you are. Uh, anyway, you said it's a uh, unrestricted climb. I definitely agree with that. I really want to see the scene skyrocket, and it already has. And I'm super thrilled that you guys are all here. So this is really the first face-to-face -face video that I've done on this channel. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could give some feedback. Do you guys want to see more of this, uh, like face-to-face -face interactive content? Uh, I really have some amazing ideas as far as videos go for our YouTube channel, not just DCS or video games. It kind of, my ideas kind of stretch beyond that. Uh, drop a like on this video if you want to see more of this kind of content. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, all that stuff so you can be part of our notification squad and uh, really just super stoked about the future of this YouTube. Without further delay, I appreciate you guys bearing with me and going through all of that. I know it's a lot of information, but you know, I just love chilling with you guys. We're, you know, you're here, I'm here. We're just chilling, talking about sounds. So anyway, let's get into the F-14. So the F-14, the interior didn't really see a lot of, a lot of change. Uh, I did change uh, a, a few things here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same from the last version. But I thought, eh, might as well, you know, throw in a, a demonstration video uh, for you guys anyway, since you're really wanting to hear stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the interior of the F-14 Tomcat. So as you can hear, it's a really amazing experience inside the plane. Not too much has changed again because we really don't have an extensive library of sounds that we have of the inside of an F-14 Tomcat. A lot of the videos out there, uh, reference videos are super old, as well as the audio recordings are also recorded on really old gear, so it makes it hard to recreate those dynamics uh, that you would get out of a lot of modern day aircraft. 
Uh, if we have the opportunity to actually record and sit inside the F-14, uh, y'all be the first to know about it, that's for sure. Uh, and I'll be posting tons of pictures. So now that we've covered the interior, we're going to step out of the aircraft and take a look at the, or take a listen to, I guess you would say, the exterior sounds of this new F-14 update. And again, you already heard some of this stuff in the trailer, but we wanted to just take time for you all to be able to hear this without music, without anything else in the background. We're going to do a couple flybys, or actually a few flybys, I guess. One with mill power, so no burner whatsoever. And then we're gonna do a couple of variations uh, with a with the afterburner engaged. So you guys can get a good idea of what this sounds like in game. A lot of it has a deeper, richer, like punchier sound to it. And I think you guys will be able to pick up on it, pick up on it right away. So dive into it. F-16 has had a very special place in my heart. It's definitely one of my favorite all-time fighter jets, and I am super excited to always be hearing them. Like, I, I hear them right now buzzing around uh, in the area that I live in, and it's just incredible. So I have a constant source of reference for these things, right? And it's just been absolutely amazing. Like, I can just, you know, take my recorder outside in my backyard and just point it up at the sky and just take it all in and it's just absolutely amazing like being able to see f-35s the f-16s uh the legacy hornets some super hornets just so much there's there's a lot going on here and i'm i'm just always super excited but and very distracted because right now they're flying around but anyway let's get into the f-16 cockpit now the f-16 cockpit from our original or our, I guess our version two update was was pretty good. At least I thought so. It did a, a little bit of a better job rep representing the F-16's cockpit. Uh, Eagle Dynamics had already done an, an incredible job on the F-16, but again, I just wanted to take the experience up one more and try to provide a little bit more of a realistic or true to life experience. So that's what I was able to do. I took a lot of the sources that I did have and adapt, readapted, retweaked. I spent uh, about a dozen hours or so. I, I, I honestly can't even count how many hours I spent just going over listening over and over and over again, like all these different video references on YouTube, as well as all the other uh, videos that we were able to obtain from other people, other sources uh, of the insides on F-16. And it's so hard to recreate a cockpit experience off of a GoPro video. A lot of refinements, a lot of the mix has been adjusted for the in-game elements. So obviously wanting to preserve some of the game, you know, aspect of it, because DCS is still a game. It's not not the real thing as much as I would want it to be. Uh, it's, it's a lot closer, but it's still not perfect and it's never gonna be perfect, but we can just 
always aim for excellence in everything we do. So this, I hope, really does bring you guys closer to an authentic F-16 cockpit. So let's go ahead and jump in and listen to some examples. As you guys can tell, the F-16's internal cockpit sounds are a lot more balanced than they were before. You can hear the speed brake a lot more prominently and you can hear uh, a lot of the other cues that you might have not been able to hear as well. Also, that G-breath sound though, like I love just being able to hear the, the respirator clicking on and off and faster and slower when you're coming off. Uh, with this next update, it's not a, not a huge uh, amount of external changes like the F-14. It's kind of flip-flopped actually. We spent more time on the internal with the F-16 this time uh, and then spent more time on the externals. It's just weird. I was just thinking about that. Um, anyway, so all that said, however, like I did spend quite a bit of time on the externals because I always, I was finding myself going like, man, it just doesn't sound right in specific areas and attitudes that the F-16 was flying at. Uh, from a ground perspective, I was noticing some missing elements. And I think the, the biggest changes that you'll hear is when the aircraft is right in front of you at a slower speed and you're down at idle, right? Or like below 30%, you can really hear the spool of that GE engine. And so uh, I just want you guys to take a listen for yourself. We're gonna do a takeoff roll. I'm gonna do a half cubinate, come back and do a, a couple different passes and we'll get her done. And we'll see you guys after. are still here at the end of the video thank you so much for sticking around and I am super thrilled that we were able to get these updates released to you guys uh, again please please join us on our discord and interact with us there ask questions please uh, like community is what it's all about I love interacting with you guys our team uh, from uh, charging uh, to Jordan 
Logan, Stan, like we got, we all really love and appreciate you guys for supporting the work that we do. And we really do strive to bring the very, very best to you all. And it's only gonna get better from here. So again, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already a follow of our Instagram, go follow that. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can find all the links are in the description. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this video for you guys, but I'm not gonna take up any more of your time. I hope that you guys have an incredible weekend. And as always, I hope that you all have fun and fly safe. This is Tyler signing off. Thank you.